This little guy looks like he has problems. Do you see it? This looks bent. I've seen some neat projects with Easter bunnies. I have just sprayed them with brown spray paint to make chocolate bunnies. I've painted them with this metallic gold paint. I've seen them turn them into like terracotta Easter bunnies and also used a cement technique. This little folk art piece I thought was cute. Hey guys, it is Brooke from The Junk Parlor. Thanks for coming to my channel. I go thrifting every week and share either shopping or hauls or both on here with you. And this week, I went to a lot of places. I shopped in Centerville, Iowa, my old hometown. So that will be a video that I'll link down in the description. I went to my old picking hole where I love to go before I moved up here to Ankeny. Then I did my normal thrifting Thursday and went to Junk Jubilee on Friday. So I always link every place that I go during the week down in the description if you wanna go check that out because a lot of times I'll go someplace and I don't necessarily make a purchase, but I did hit a lot more stores than you know the items that you're seeing. So in this video, we're going to see the items that I got from my thrifting Thursday. One place that I went that I have not gone since I moved up here, which was back in July, and I think that it had probably been quite a while before that because when I went in there <laughs> yesterday, the place was completely different. They had things hanging on the wall. They had new shelving. They rearranged the whole place. There was a lot more, it was cleaner. It was just like completely different. I only picked up one thing there. Um, there was a, a bunch of like pink depression glass stuff and another lady was looking at it. She got about everything and just while she was looking, I said, hey, are you, are you debating that picture? Cause I didn't want to take over and just start grabbing stuff because we all know when people do that, that's annoying. So I asked her because really the picture um, caught my attention the most compared to like the little cups and some little like candy dishes. This immediately to me looked like carnival glass because I don't know if you can see in the, in the camera, but it's kind of a rainbow and iridescent. And so I grabbed that because she wasn't interested in it. And I just did a quick search while I was standing in the aisle holding it. And this is an imperial... Um, oh, I can't even remember. I will just link a screenshot um, and put it up here so you can see. But it is a really nice, there's no chips, no dings on it, and um, it was a really good buy. So I'm excited to get this listed for sale. I've mentioned before that when I go out shopping and I take you with me, Sometimes I don't come home with things that I share, obviously, but if you like something, all you have to do is just to let me know. And when I go back to the store, if I can, and it's still there, um, then I will grab it for you. So this was one of those items. I had shared it because it made me think of a guest speaker that we had in my staging your antique shop group and a girl was interested in it. I didn't pick it up. The next week that I tried to go, they were closed because of snow. The next week I tried to go and it was still there. No one had purchased it yet. And so this is gonna get shipped off this morning to its new owner. I grabbed this bread tin. Yellow is not necessarily my color, but I love them for storage. I love them for risers. And if it doesn't sell yellow, I can always paint it. I actually think that I am going to be on the hunt for some tin bread boxes, um, picnic baskets to put in my mudroom lockers. So since I have decided that that's what I'm on the hunt for, 
I've seen none. <laughs> well, I got this one, but no, that none of them that are green or blue or any kind of that green blue family. I did pick up this lamp. It's going to take some work because the, the light bulb socket thing that it's in, it's just twisting. And so you can't even get the light bulb out. From my experience, I normally break the light bulb, take some pliers and use that to twist the items. But it does have the little shade. It doesn't have the chimney. So really the reason I bought it because it was super cheap because it's damaged, it, it needs some love, is just for this bottom base. So these are great to use on under a cloche, you can set a candle on them, you can set a figurine, do something else. And then also I've had some varying sized ones that looked really good stacked. If I had a few more to go that were smaller to go on top, it would have looked like a Christmas tree. So I keep my eye out for these, but I only buy them if they're cheap and normally they're missing the lampshade or missing something. So I don't feel so bad about tearing it apart. I love round brushes. So I used to think these were paint brushes and maybe this one is, I'm not really sure how you can tell, but sometimes these round bristles are super thick wiry. And so then I think that they're um, for cleaning car parts is what somebody else said. So it doesn't matter what they're used for. I love the shape and they look great just thrown in a vase or stuck in something to display. This little hand broom, whisk broom, so cute. It's got some good age on it and it's a nice dark, small color. These look great hanging on peg racks. Somebody twisted my arm to buy this. So it says, this is a little shipping container. It says magic egg test or works. Tester works. So we looked at this up and it is like an egg tester to, um, said something about incubation, like to, to check on incubation. So there's like a bunch of numbers here on this aluminum handle, which are probably there. You're not gonna be able to see the best. And then it also says magic uh, tester here. So somehow this tests eggs. I don't know if you hold it in there and then I think it said drop it in water. I don't know, but it's so weird, unique. Um, I like the unusual, so I grabbed it. Thrifting, we got this flocked lamb. Super cute for Easter. Lambs are always popular and um, I can never remember the name flocked. I don't know why I was like Google search fuzzy. It's always like, I know it's an, it has an actual word, but I can't think of what it is. And then for 89 cents, I got this little wooden bowl. Somebody has painted it navy. I will probably strip it, but I just love them to put things in and I love to make stacks of wooden bowls. So for 89 cents, I gave myself a job, which I try not to do, or a project, so that will need to get stripped at some point. And then this little strawberry basket um, holder could fit four little strawberry baskets in there. I don't know if I actually have any strawberry baskets, but you could easily repurpose this as well and just use it um, to hold anything on your table, put some mason jars in it for silverware and napkins, do flowers. Um, literally, you could just set your plates in here, which is a cute idea because it's square. So I got that and I just think that's super cute. Ooh, yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, so I'm recording this on Sunday. I did thrift for $2.99 a green t-shirt, which I was hoping to videotape yesterday. But I just got home too late and it didn't happen so that you could see my green shirt. But I will link it here um, because I wore it. Junk Jubilee was on St. Patrick's Day and I have a video coming out of that as well. So when that comes out, that will get linked in the description. This is a little ironstone bowl. It is super thick and fat. There are some cracks there, but they're maybe it's barely going through right there. But for the most part, it's not going all the way through. It's unmarked. This might actually be a um, oh, mortar pestle. I think it's the mortar part um, for one of the mortar and pestle sets, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Then this is another ironstone bowl. This one says, oh, I cannot read it. I 
have my contacts in. It's got a book, it says 1927. It is a little bit um, bigger and thinner, but super cute. I mean, they look good stacked anyway, and you could also put something underneath the bowls to raise the smaller one up a little bit higher so you can see it more. But those are the things that I picked up during my thrifting on Thursday. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next week.